Now, Syrian President Bashar al-Assad is in the UAE on his first visit to an Arab nation since the Syrian civil war. Eleven years ago on day, one of his visitors Saad met with as Crown Prince Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed al Nahyan, and according to you, a state media, the two leaders discussed fraternal relations between both the sides and also discussed efforts to contribute to the consolidation of security, stability, and peace in the Adams region in the Middle East. The Crown Prince and Assad discussed ways of preserving the territorial integrity of Syria and the withdrawal of foreign forces from the country. They also talked about means of providing political and humanitarian support for Syria. Meanwhile, Syria's and a news agency said that the meeting helped strengthen cooperation between the two sides. The visit sends a signal that the Arab world is now willing to re-engage with Syria's once widely shunned president. The Arab League suspended Damascus. After the war broke out 11 years ago and back then Arab and Western countries blamed Assad for the deadly crackdown on the 2011 protests which soon turned into one of the most iconic deadly civil war events in recent history. But now with the conflicts in the deadlock and Assad's regaining control of all of us all territory, the world is looking to warm up ties in December of 2018. The UE reopened its embassy in Damascus. The move suggested an effort to bring the Syrian government back into the a default. The move was followed by the US calling in March last year for Syria to return to the Arab League, which was once a key backer of its suspension. The United States has long opposed efforts to normalize ties, not its ties with Assad or rehabilitate him until a political solution is agreed to the deadly conflict. Speaking on the Syrian president's UA visit State Department, spokesperson Net Price said and I quote Washington is profoundly disappointed and troubled by the attempt to legitimize Assad, who remains responsible and accountable for the death and suffering of countless civilians.